So in this video, we're going to be looking at removing material using a boolean operation and the path sweep option in part design. So this is one of three videos. Um, each of the videos will show you a different method of actually removing material and using a complex path, in this case a spiral, to actually allow you to do that. So they're all individual videos and this is the second video in the actual little series that I'm doing. Okay, for this one, we're gonna start a new document or a new project. In the create new, I'm on the start at the moment, but also we can get it via file, new, and also the new icon. Okay, so new document and we're gonna do the same here as the previous video. We're gonna create a spiral. So jump into the part and there we can get to our little icon here, which is creation of parametrized geometric primitives. So click on that and select the spiral from here. And I'm just gonna hit create because it's easier to actually alter these parameters actually in the scene itself. Now while I'm here, I am going to go and turn on the toggle axis cross because what I want to do is move the start of the spiral into the center and that will come apparent in a second because we want to be able to connect a sketch to the to the actual start of this uh, spiral from the center so we can actually sweep across the actual spiral itself so I've got the spiral there and I want to actually change the growth and radius of the spiral. So I'm gonna bring the growth up and I'm gonna stick some rotations on there. A few more rotations. I'm actually gonna pull the radius back down. It's a bit too big. A bit further. Let's just move it off of there so I can actually show you something. Um, let's bring the growth down a bit as well. And there we go. Uh, I just moved it actually back off because I actually want to, you to want to show you actually moving this. And if I double click the spiral, I can actually move. At the moment, I've got translation increments of one millimeter. Which, if I can get hold of the arrow, there we go, is a bit too much. So I'm going to bring this down to something like I'm doing 0.1. And that should move quite easily. There we go. So I want to move that beginning of the of the spiral at the centre to the centre of the of the actual scene itself, centre of origin. And therefore, I can do my constraints on my sketch. So I take that. Right now, I'm going to actually create a sketch, and the sketch is going to be the profile of the actual spiral itself. So we can actually use different profiles in there because we're going to be sweeping along this path. So I need to actually create a sketch, but first of all, jump into the part design and create a body to hold the sketch. So create body, then create sketch. Do it from here if I so desire as well. Let's just create a sketch. Now I want this on the correct plane. So I'm just going to press Control, Shift, and Plus to zoom in. Yeah. The moment I'm looking down the spiral on the XY plane, and if I use my Alt key, and I'm looking, I'm on the touchpad controls down here. I can change these if I so desire. So using the Alt key, I can swing this up, and if I just press Control on mice, I can see my, what plane I'm on there. So I want the XZ plane highlighted there and okay that so what we should be seeing is looking straight on at the spiral let's just zoom in a bit and if I use my alt to actually move the scene about see from my cube where I'm positioned and now I'm looking looking at an angle onto the spiral from the side it's exactly what I want and the actual start of the spiral is in the center of origin now I can actually create my sketch now we're actually creating a profile of the actual spiral. So if we, at the end of this, once we create the spiral, if we chop through it, we will actually see 
the same shape, shape sketched. So you can use any of these. I'm going to just use a simple circle in the center. I'm not going to worry about constraining the diameter. Um, you can just constrain it to whatever size you want. And that will be the actual thickness of the actual spiral that's going around. So this will end up looking like a heating element. Um, if I hit escape, I can actually move my sketch into the center and I want to constrain those two points. So I'm just going to use a selection. So I'm holding down and selecting those two on my mouse. So I selected those two points and I'm going to use this uh, point constraint here. So screen that to the center of the sketch. Now I've done that, I can alter the dimension of this if I so desire. I'm going to keep any constraints off of this for the time being. And I'm going to hit close, so I'll finish with my sketch. And so now what I have is in the center of my scene, I have a spiral with a sketch that's positioned at the start of the spiral, ready to sweep around. Now all I have to do to sweep this is go back to my mode. You can see my spirals outside of my body at the moment. So that's absolutely fine. And the sketch is inside. So if I select the sketch first and then go up to the top here and I've got a sweet selected sketch along a path or, or two other profiles. It's also called on the part design additive pipe. Okay, so you can select any of those. I'm going to use the one on the actual toolbar. What will happen is that select will be the sketch will be selected in the profile, so you can see the sketch is there. And now I can actually add add edge or add object there. So I'm going to hit add edge, and then you have to actually select the spiral. And what will happen straight away is that you'll see that the spiral has been attached, uh, sorry the sketch has been attached to the spiral and it's been swept around. See we've got some issues here that can be easily resolved by going hitting OK and what what it's asking to do is make an independent copy and what this is, is doing actually is actually pulling that spiral object, the original spiral object we use as the actual sweep into your body. So hit OK on that and we just let that go, so that's okay. So we've got some problems. And this may be refresh problems, but you can see that the spiral has been copied down here, so we no longer need this spiral. So I can actually get rid of that, if I so desire, or make it invisible, I've just deleted it. So if I double click, sorry, if I Going into my additive pipe, you can see the little green mark showing that's the last action in our tree. Double click my sketch, I can actually change this to whatever I want. So if I move this a bit, let's see if we can actually allow that to be recalculated. There we go. That's recalculated now, and you can see that that's all nice and together. Um, if I go back in, I probably can actually bring it back to the same dimension that I had before. Hit close. And you can see it's losing, it's starting to lose it there. So you have to actually, I'm not sure if this is an issue with FreeCAD or whether it's because of the actual shape of the path but just slightly tweaking that actually brings it back into the correct, correct form. So let me just bring this back down. I'm just going to tweak that a bit more and see what happens. So you can see that I'll move it just slightly. It may be a bug in FreeCAD. Um, so let's try again. I'm 
Hmm, interesting. So there you go, so that's swept along that plane. Sorry, along that path. If we go back now, what I'm going to do is actually remove this from a piece of material. So I'm going to create a new body in here. I'm just going to hit the top and zoom out. And what I'm going to do is remove this from the body to show you the actual use of the boolean tool because um, it can be actually a bit confusing for when you very first start out. So I'm going to create a new body. So our spiral body is here. Let's rename this. Spiral. And this is going to be our base. So I'm just going to create a new sketch in here. And I'm going to put it on the XY plane to looking down. And I'm just going to create a normal square there. There we go. So that's created there. Again, not bothering about constraints. You should really constrain your um, your sketches, but I'm doing this quickly to save time. So there's our sketch, and I'm going to pad that and just give it a small padding to allow it to pad up, uh, pad upwards. You can see my sketch is actually sitting on the the actual object that I want to remove is actually sitting on the bottom, but that's okay. So okay that. Now, at the moment, we've got body one, zero zero one, which is our base, and the spiral sitting there. So, at the moment, the spiral sitting on the bottom of the body. I'm going to pull that out to the top. So, to pull that out to the top, I'm currently in part design. I'm going to right click, hit transform, and then I can actually pull this out to the top there. And I can use the translation increments if I so desire to actually have um, to have it more more of an accurate accurate uh, transform between that translation before that. Okay, that so that's sitting just proud there. Yeah, so that's just sitting on the top there. So if I want to remove this piece of material, sorry, this path from this piece of material. All I do is I have to first make sure I've got the right body selected. So this blue boolean option requires an active body, and the active body is the body that's going to be the body that's going to be used as the base for all the boolean operations. So you can select one or more uh, boolean options. So you've got an active body, and then you'll select a tool uh, body to actually remove or union to that active body. So this one here, which is body 001, right click, toggle active body. So that's been made active now. Now this is the key factor with Boolean. Make sure nothing's selected. Click on the Boolean, Boolean operations with two or more bodies. Also it is available on your part design menu. So clicking on the boolean operation in there it's asking you to add the body. Now this is the tool body that you want to add. So if I hit add body what you should see is the main body will disappear. So at the moment I've got this on fuse so I'm going to fuse this to our main body. So just click on the spiral and now that has actually fused to the main body now. So it's sitting there. Um, I want to actually remove the material so I'm going to go cut and that's actually removed it from the actual body itself there. You can see it there. So that's another way of actually removing material. So if I zoom in here so you can get a better look you can see that it's sitting there and our material has been removed inside. If I hit OK, what you'll see is that a new new object has been made called Boolean, and our green tip 
has been moved to the latest operation which is our boolean and if we look in here we can actually see the body spiral in there the additive pipe and the actual sketches in there so that's another way of actually removing material and using the boolean operations to actually use that boolean operation to remove material from there if i was doing it this way i would actually use a different sweep method anyway to actually reduce the amount of operations on that block on that base material and that will be the sweep selected sketch along the path to other profiles and remove body move it remove it from the body and that's what we do in the next video if you like what you're seeing please subscribe to my site and also i have a ko-fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds dollars or whatever your currency is and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang zero and there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that i actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel thanks a lot for watching and subscribing i'll see you next time